When you need your caffeine, time is of the essence. Nespresso machines are fast, but do they balance speed, quality, and price? Meet the Nespresso Virtual Plus. In this hands-on in-home review, I bought one to test out, so I'll get it set up, use it to make different types of coffees, let you know how they taste, and what the overall experience is like. I'll wrap things up with the pros and the cons and let you know if I think I can recommend this machine for you. Let's talk about what you're getting. The Nespresso Virtuo Plus is a variant of the original Nespresso Virtuo machine. That original made its debut back in 2014 as a basic coffee pod machine, but with a revolutionary extraction technology called Centrifusion, which essentially spins the coffee pod at 7,000 RPMs while infusing the coffee grounds inside the pod with hot water. This patented technology allowed Nespresso to make coffee in larger sizes than the few ounces you typically get with Nespresso original espresso pods and machines. So that's the Virtuo difference. What about the Plus? The Virtuo Plus name would have you thinking you're getting a little something extra, but that's not quite the case here. Nespresso created the Plus variant for folks who are willing to trade some small spec reductions for extra usability improvements and a slightly lower cost of entry. Possibly worth noting is that the pods for Virtuo are vastly different from and completely incompatible with regular or original Nespresso machines. Nespresso has generally positioned the Virtuo pods as being higher quality. Like other classic Nespresso machines, the Virtuo Plus can create a single or double shot espresso from the proper pod in about less than a minute. But thanks to that centrifusion technology, Virtuo Plus can also support larger 5 or 8 ounce cups. Larger coffee servings mean larger coffee pods too, and there's actually several different sizes of Virtuo pods depending on the type of coffee you're making. At the same time, the Virtuo Plus keeps things simple by making the machine one button operation, so how does it work? Virtual machines read a special barcode on the coffee pod's rim and translate it to uniquely measured brewing sizes, and each pod's package will tell you how much you're getting. You can also change the size of your drink by holding the brew button down to trigger a manual dispensing mode. This machine is larger than your average original Nespresso machine, and that's for good reason. Generally speaking, you'll find larger water tanks on Virtuo, and you'll need a little more space for all that centrifugal force. Small kitchens might be better off going the Nespresso original route, but if you've got the real estate to spare, you might really enjoy using this machine. Now, using the Virtuo is very simple, but ensure you follow the directions in the manual to prime it the first time, or it may not work correctly. Just fill the water tank, choose your pod, and ready a cup to match. There's an adjustable cup rack which simply locks into place underneath the spout. The lid lifts up by itself. First tap the lever to activate it, then push up on it a bit and the lid is going to lift up on its own. Then place your pod into the holder round side down. You'll tap the lever again to have it automatically lower the lid. When you're ready, press the single button on top. You'll hear the machine start to spin up, and within about 15 seconds, you should start to see coffee flowing. Depending on the size of your drink, it'll brew up anywhere from about 30 seconds to 2 minutes. The design of the machine is a little bit odd since the front of it kind of protrudes out like a bow. It would be nice to have a little more space here to tuck the cup under the spout, but it doesn't seem like it's making much of a mess despite that. A removable drip tray sits underneath. When you lift the top to make your next coffee, the pod is going to automatically lift and eject into a discard bin which sits behind the machine. This bin should hold about 10 to 15 capsules depending on their size. If your city recycling program doesn't accept coffee pods, Nespresso will include a free return recycling bag so you can collect your used pods and ship them back to be recycled and composted. So what's the coffee like? When it comes to the espresso, I found it extremely delicious. The coffee is really high quality and it's silky and never bitter. It's smooth with a beautiful crema on top. Now conversely, I found the coffee pods, the kind of cup of coffee pods, were not as much to my taste. I found them a little bit dull and sort of watery tasting. But with that said, I do like a big, bold, punch you in the mouth brew first thing in the morning. So lighter coffees and gentler roasts are generally not for me. Despite the fact I wasn't enjoying the cup of coffee pods as much, I think this machine is super valuable on its own for espresso and espresso based drinks. If you're wondering about the temperature of the coffee, I measured it coming out of the machine as hot as 170 degrees Fahrenheit. 
let's touch on the cost of these Nespresso pods. The price of the virtual pods does vary a little bit more than the original, which is maybe not surprising because you're getting different sizes of beverage from them. For the most part, you can expect to pay between about 80 cents to $1.20 for espressos and up to about $1.50 for bigger coffees. Kind of reasonable, I guess, considering what some coffee shops will charge you for fancy or large coffees. Let's dig a bit deeper here into what you get with this machine and how it differs from Virtuo. Now, contrary to the name, the Nespresso Virtuo Plus doesn't build on the original model, but kind of sidesteps into a completely different product. The Plus version features a redesigned water reservoir that you can swivel left or right or place at the back, depending on how your space is configured. Both the Virtuo and Virtuo Plus hold 40 ounces of water. The Plus version also has that motorized auto lift and close. The original Virtuo also seems to have maybe a slightly better build quality, which may contribute to its higher overall asking price. Overall, Nespresso Virtuo Plus is a fine pod machine that looks good, makes delicious coffee, and gives you more options than an Nespresso original machine. Let's lay out the pros and the cons. On the pro side, Virtuo gives you more options for different sizes of espresso and different types and sizes of coffee, depending on the pod you choose. That alone may make it a major upgrade from Nespresso Original. This is ideal for a household where everybody likes their drink just so. The movable water tank, which is nice and large, and that big pod discard bin means you shouldn't have to fuss with refilling and emptying. I found the espresso from this machine to be really delicious and very high quality. I appreciate the fact the cup riser is a adjustable to accommodate different sizes of mugs, which also helps to eliminate splashing. There's also the option to run a manual extraction if you don't like the preset Nespresso sizes. So what are the cons? Probably the biggest detractions for this machine will come before you ever buy one. You'll have to make peace with the extra waste and unique recycling and composting program of using coffee pods, and some folks might balk at the cost of each pod. The other thing with this machine is that it has a slightly larger footprint. On its own merits, however, I think this machine delivers on what it says, and that's great tasting coffee and espresso with little fuss in a flash. The real value of the Nespresso Plus is in its slightly lower price tag. It sells for about $199 US, and you will also often see the machine bundled with the milk frother too. Just remember, the ability to make larger cups of coffee is the main attraction for the Virtuo series, and the Virtuo Plus is a terrific value for what it can do. I can definitely recommend the Nespresso Virtuo Plus as a great, versatile, automated coffee pod machine for you. And if you want to see what else Nespresso has going on, check out my video that goes into detail about the differences between Virtuo and Original, or see my full hands-on review of the Virtuo Next right now.